Here we have a vintage Numara battery operated PP puppy. As you can see, it's in the original box. It does have the price of $10.95 written on it and somebody tried to scribble it off to the poor job. There's the instructions on the side. You can see the Numara tray box. The box is in good shape. And let's take a look inside. Here you have a photocopy of the original directions showing you how to fill the water bottle, which we'll go over that in a minute. And here is the puppy itself with the tethered remote control. Let's get the box right out of the way. And let's unwrap this. There's two things you have to do prior to using this. Number one is you have to remove the water bottle, which is here on the bottom. You open this up, there's a little trap door, out it comes. The bottle splits in half. You fill this pot up with water, which we'll do right now. Go over to the sink. It's filled with water. Seal it. Give a little drag off. We install it in, and it can only fit in one way. You can see it has the cuffs here, and you can see how the cuffs there. This is designed to drop right in. So the bottle is pointing in only one direction, and that's designed that way because the puppy actually lifts his legs when he goes to pee. Of course, you're gonna get it in, then you seal it. That's phase one. The next phase, of course, is batteries. This remote control battery compartment takes two size D batteries, which are not included. You can see the compartment's very clean. This tells you the directions of the batteries, which is negative forward. I'm sorry, negative backwards, positive forward. Two batteries are in. Remote control is closed. The puppy's ready to go. What we're going to do so you can actually see the water or the pee is we're going to put it on the paper towel. We're going to switch it on on. And you want to go to that side, please, and catch it when it lifts his legs. And we're going to turn it on right now. And off he goes. And there's the water. <laughs> As you can see, there's the water mark, or the P, if you will. And basically, he will continue to do that until the bottle is empty and or until you power it down. As you can see, the dog is in excellent shape. It's got a little dirt on the feet. It's because it's been used. I'm not saying this is new old stock. It's not. The fur is in very good shape. Ears are nice and fluffy. The tail wags. And he does bark, as you heard, as he walks. And he'll take a few steps. He'll lift his leg. And he will pee. And there you have it. A vintage pee-pee puppy from tomorrow. Thank you for your time.